and a, a follow-up to that question, are there any penalties if, it's, if the projects are not completed or the funds are used in other ways? Well, the, you get the penalty of the public not trusting you. <laughs> you know, there's, there's certainly, um, the bill is very clear that you got to build the projects, all right? Um, and you, you don't have an option of not building them. It, didn't give a, it does not give an out. One of the things um, that we have that I suspect is not unique to us, but certainly that uh, many of you who are familiar with Cobb's Floss program knows, we have a very transparent process. Um, we prize transparency in our county government. Um, we have a SPLOST oversight committee. As you know, we were the first SPLOST in the state of Georgia back many years ago. Um, and as Todd uh, mentioned, we have an extremely successful record of delivering those programs. Um, and so we have, and we, the oversight committee, um, we are responsible for reporting to them on a regular basis. Um, and so there's just, there's really no option for um, directing money other places or anything like that. That just, uh, just doesn't happen, can't happen. Okay, I do want to emphasize one additional thing uh, for the people tonight is that the Transportation Investment Act has multiple layers of accountability as Todd described uh, for everyone. And that was built into the legislation with accountability in mind. Um, the funds initially go to JISFIX, which is the state, uh, Georgia State Financing Investment Commission. Then it's distributed to the Department of Transportation or GDOT who is then responsible for the execution of the program. Above and beyond that, the, Depart the Commissioner of Revenue audits and monitors the program of funds, including the implementation. So there's multiple layers of accountability to make sure that the projects are implemented, implemented on time and within budget. 